Okay, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to recode variables using the PSPP software program. And uh, I've already got mine open, and I opened it by clicking on the icon of my desktop as such. I'll do it again. And opening the GSS from uh, the location where I saved it. The GSS is the General Social Survey. And there it is. I've saved it with a date, and I will open that. Okay, and uh, what I'm seeing here is a data view, which shows me all the different uh, data points. of the, Each row is a person, and each column is a variable for that person. I'm actually going to click over to Variable View, and I'm going to make this label column bigger so I can read what the variables are. You can see uh, here, here they are. I'm going to come down to uh, these confidence variables because I'm going to recode them. And the reason being is the way they're coded to me is slightly uh, non-intuitive. So I'll show you what I mean. We'll, we'll do a quick uh, frequency distribution for one of these. Uh, come down to, I'm going to make this window wider first, uh, confidence in Congress. Okay, so let's take a look at that frequency distribution just so we know what we're looking at. I'm going to look at the output window. Okay, you see this, it says uh, a great deal. What that means is the per anybody who answered this said that they had a great deal of confidence in Congress. This is from 2006, and that was 11.7% of the sample. But you see its, it's value is a 1. Uh, I want to recode this variable so that if somebody has a great deal of confidence, they get the value of 3, and if they have no confidence, they get the value of 1, right? Or hardly any, rather. I guess no confidence would be 0, technically. So I'm going to reverse code these, in other words, right? So 1, 2, 3 will become 3, 2, 1. All right, so now I'm going to go back here. And the way I do this is I go to Transform, Recode, and I always want to do it into different variables. If you do it into the same variables, you're going to wind up modifying the data set in a way that you may not be able to change. Uh, you don't want to do that. So you always want to do different variables. Okay, and I'm going to find that variable. In fact, I'm going to find three similar variables. They're all going to be confidence in uh, some form of government variables. So there's the executive branch. Uh, I'm going to push that over. United States Supreme Court. And uh, Congress, the one we just looked at. And you see they have, these are the variable codes. That's CONFED. Confidence is CON. And FED is the ex executive branch. CON JUDGE, which is the Supreme Court. And CON LEGIS, which is the U.S. Congress. That's what these variables ask about. Okay, so I'm going to give these, since I'm recoding them into new variables, I have to give the new variable a name. I'm going to call this CONFED NEW. And I'll call this recoded confidence in executive branch. All right, I'm going to give this old and new values. So remember, I wanted to turn a, the 1, 2, 3 into a 3, 2, 1. So all I do is over here, I've got the old values. Over here, the new values. I'm going to put 1 for the old value, 3 for the new one. And then I'm going to click Add. Uh, actually, 2 winds up being the same. Right, because we're just—it's not really a change. It's going to remain two, but we'll create a line for that anyways. And then all the threes will become ones. And then I always do uh, other values. System missing. We'll add that, and we will continue. And I'm going to click the change button. Okay, and you'll see that the new variable name appears there. The new variable code. And we're going to do the same thing with the f next two. I'm going to rename the, vi the variable code, which in this case will be con judge new. And I'm going to call this recoded confidence in Supreme Court. That's the label for the variable. Again, old and new valuable, old and new values. However, you'll notice that the the work we did for the previous variable remains here, and this is exactly what we want, so this is going to save us a little time. This is the advantage of doing multiple variables at a single point in time. 
Okay, so I'm just going to, going to uh, click Change. Now I'm going to close this out and click Change. And we'll do the same thing with the third variable, which is going to be con legis new. Whoops, I'm going to call this recoded confidence in Congress. Okay, and once again, the old new variables will remain the same as we punch them in. All these variables were originally coded the exact same way, so when we uh, transform one of them, we can transform the others in the exact same way. So let me click Change, and then I'm going to click OK. OK, now let's go back to this data set and have a look at what we created. If we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that the, the new variables appear here. Uh, well, actually, you see something went wrong. Uh, the labels I created did not get created, but that's not really a, a major problem. I can uh, punch them in here. Uh, that was again recoded confidence in executive branch. I'm going to go ahead and control A, control C to copy that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit control V to paste it, except I'm going to be whoops, changing the this part of the label because this variable reverts to the Supreme Court. And I'll do the same thing here. Control V to paste that in there. And this time it is Congress. Okay, so I've created three new variables. Okay, I'm gonna notice I'm still in the in the variable view. If I shrink this down, you'll see and I want to look at the data view now. In the data view, if I scroll all the way to the right, I'll see those new variables, and there they are. And so these uh, should be the reverse coded variables of the old variables. You see that these ones say new, and uh, that's what we've got. And that's how you create uh, transformed variables using PSPP. Hope you enjoyed it.